on this week's video, Alpaca! Neon time. What is an alpaca? Many people mistake an alpaca as a llama. I actually did think that before I learned about them. So here's the breakdown. Alpacas are in the camelidal family. It consists of llama, alpacas, and camels. Llama and alpaca may look similar, but they are very different. They can weigh over 400 pounds. They generally range between 42 and 46 inches. Their fleece are rough and loose. Traditionally, they are bred for carrying heavy supplies and also as a worker animal for farmers. They like to be alone and are very brave, so they make very good guards. On the other end of the spectrum, we have alpacas. They are generally about 150 pounds. They have soft and luxurious fleece, so they are usually bred for fleece. Their fleece can be compared to cashmere and silk. Alpacas have much better temper. They will listen to humans and surprisingly, they can learn tricks. Due to their good temper, they often need protection. Who will protect them, you ask? Of course, their cousin llama. They are usually raised together so the llama can protect the alpacas. This past weekend, we visited Farmer Bruce at uh, Sweet Alpacas at Vacaville, California and I get to ask him a lot about his farm and his lovely alpacas. I also get to play with the alpacas in real life. They are so cute! Nivana, uh, which is your favorite alpaca? Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> this one right back here. Uh, We're not supposed to have favorites, but I do. <laughs> I like Vanessa. Um, why did you start this alpaca farm? We, I was telling, when my father-in-law passed away, my mother-in-law had a house in town, and my wife and I had a house in town, and I knew that mom couldn't stay by herself. So, so she sold her house, we sold our house, and together the three of us bought this. And from the fence right where Gladys is, all the way that way was just waste high weeds. People hadn't done anything with it. Uh, so we were looking for something to keep the grass and the weeds and stuff down. Uh, and also uh, looking for a separate business. So, uh, And we we wanted to raise something that you didn't have to kill. Uh, you know, like you don't, you're not going to, you know, cattle or, or you know. I, I knew that we were never going to raise anything that, that you had to kill to make any money off of. So we uh, shear them once a year, just like we do a sheep. Doesn't hurt, just like you getting a haircut. You know, <laughs> doesn't hurt them at all. Uh, and then next year they grow another. Crop. We shear them and do it again. <laughs> oh. And then we take and make uh, make the yarn and, and things out of their fleece. That's what they that's what they're raised for is just to get that fleece. Um, now, we, if you come out in a month, we'll have half of them will be shorn, and they'll look real funny. <laughs> they're just, they're just skinny. There's nothing there. They're like you know, they were like this, and now all of a sudden there's nothing. <laughs> the male deposits his sperm, and it, uh, it will stay viable for up to seven days. It's a sterile environment. The girl will then ovulate, produce the egg, and, and then will come down. Uh, 24 to 48 hours afterwards. So when the egg actually comes out of cervix and comes down, the sperm is sitting there waiting on it, going, hey, here I am, baby. And, wow. Uh, so it's a pretty efficient system. Yes. We will bring the girl back in a week later, after seven days. If she has ovulated, if she indeed produced an egg, so she will know that, and she will spit and run and kick, and she will tell the boy and leave her alone. Uh -huh. I'll bring her in seven days after that. Uh, if she cushes again, then I know that for whatever reason it didn't take. Ah. But if she if she spits again, then I'm pretty sure now that she is pregnant. I'll do that three times. If, if she spits three times, 
then I'm pretty sure she, she's pregnant. Uh -huh. Now, if somebody has uh, an outside breeding, somebody's come in and paid me $500 or $1,000 for a breeding, uh, they usually want something a little more scientific. Uh, uh, so, so we'll bring the, the vet in at that point and have them do an ultrasound uh, and actually you know, uh, confirm that she is indeed pregnant. Okay, nice talking with you. Thank you for your You're time. Welcome. Uh, Ivana, look behind you. Ah! <laughs> he wants to kick me. No. Give her some. Bye. Ivana, give her some. Okay. I overthought you because I don't spit on me. Not me. Okay. <laughs> Ivana, turn around. Okay, bye. Grab me now. Guys, we're here at the alpaca farm and we're gonna visit be visiting alpacas today. Denied. I want a pet. Rolling. Action. I hope you liked this week's video because Cut. Weekly, weekly, weekly. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hope you liked this week's video because I had a blast at the alpaca farm. Big shout out to Farmer Bruce for opening the farm for us. They will have a big open house at September. We're about five local alpaca farms will join together and have a great open house. It is a free event, so make sure to check out their website for detailed information on the event date. I will post their website in the description down below. They're the cutest things on earth. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what your favorite animal is. Mine is cat, sorry on that. And until next time, bye. Yeah, bye.